So, I watched my own videos. This is from a while back with online mods and stuff. Uh, using the same method that I'm about to show you. But, uh, stopped X on uh, 9X said, dude, it doesn't work. What the fuck helped me? The patch just said update. Um, but I can't sprint and nothing works in game. That's because you have to. Uh, Play with your settings, go into settings, button layout, switch to whatever, something, anything, and then switch back to the vault to fix it. But anyways, a lot of you guys said, you know, that, that it doesn't work, even though it does work, but you don't know how to fix it. But um, here's the thing, all right, this is one is not important. I will show you on, I'm going to show you how to install the new uh, revive version 2 mod menu for black ops one zombies made by the one and only python modding so this mod menu i did a review on it uh, yesterday or a couple days ago depending on when you watch this and when i upload this but um i did a review on it and it's a great mod menu like seriously it's one of a kind so that video will be available to watch at the end of the video where you have two videos that you can click on like two options click on one because one of them is the review anyways let's go ahead and install the mod So what you will need is to go on your console, your PS3, and uh, save or copy your save game on the PS3 to a USB. That's the first step that you have to do. After that, go ahead and plug it in. There we go. All right. Once that's plugged in, you need a Red Bull and drink it. It's a sponsor, guys. Uh, when you have your save game copied over to your USB, and you open up on your PC, you will see a new folder. Okay, forget about these two. Okay, let's say you don't have anything, just your save game. So, on here, on your USB, what you want to do is go into PS3. Now, go into your folder that you have, save data, and then you will have whatever your bless, plus, NPE, B, NPU, B code is. Doesn't really matter, just open it up. Don't know what it is for bless i know it's bless 01031 As you can see oops there's an icon and it shows you that that's black ops one okay what you want to do is close it very easy right there is a link in the stream box below and because a lot of you said that there is something wrong with red eye save game editor However, I never ever uh, faced any problems if I go to my documents, documents, I have red eye save game <clears throat> and the last time I moved it or something was back in 2017 guys, 2017 so yes, I'm into modding since 2017 at least. Uh, this is where you download red eyes save game editor for black Ops 1. It says here, download from this server, okay? And that's it. So if you open that up, uh, Black Ops XP, okay, well, you get these things. What you want to do is, apparently, you get Black Ops XP folder, weird, just drag this into your desktop. Um, let me just check if it will work. Hold on, because this is the first time I'm downloading this shit. So, if I open the folder up, let me actually show this to you. Hold on. Boom. Close that. Move this over here. I open this up. Um. Okay, this is a de yeah. Okay, it says here debug. So we don't need that. Uh, debug database. You want to click on this. That exe. And let's try to locate our thing. So you go to file, open folder, 
navigate to your USB, PS3, save data, and then your save game. Okay, all files decrypted loaded successful. Cool. Go to game save settings. Now, it doesn't really matter where you put this script that I will show you in a bit, but I always place it in SP, which stands for single player. That is the code that you need. I will leave a link, in, um, not a link. I will leave this exact same script that you need to put on in the description box below. So you can just copy it over. Um, very easy, what you do is control C. You can't right click in this program. So control A, control C is copying it. Control A selects everything. Control C copies it. However, you will have some crazy shit here. Just hit Ctrl A. Oops. Make sure you are in this thing. Ctrl A. Backspace. Ctrl V to paste it. That's it. Again, in SP, go to File, Save Asset. Done. Now you can whatever you have in CM. CM stands for campaign. I know single player stands for campaign as well. Don't bother. So in here, you will have your default settings, right? Blood one you can turn blood off uh, mature you can turn that off um it doesn't really matter what you do you can leave it on oh hey it says here python modding oh nice so let's do python modding um space tutorial you don't need to do this. Oh wow, I misspelled tutorial. There we go. Make sure you have uh, clicked on save asset. Then go to file, save all. And, and should say, <clears throat> save game, save successfully. Press OK. You can exit out or go to file, exit application. Doesn't really matter. In the link in the description box below, okay, there will be some couple of things that you need. Now everything here is a mess. Sorry about that, but I should have it here somewhere. So you will have two folders. Well, one folder and one start.cfg. Those has to be copied. So right click, hit copy or control C and then open up your USB. Boom. And just paste it in your USB just like that. Sorry about the whole mess in my desktop. That's because Whenever I switch from displays or add one display to it, it gets messed up. Now you can right click and hit eject. Now we can go ahead and switch over to the PS3 and I will show you what to do next. It's very easy though. Okay. I don't know if you can tell this, but I am running a custom firmware. So I have to, uh, because I want to show you that it does actually works online without issue so don't be like oh yeah that's because you have a custom firmware no it's because it just fucking works i will show you how to fix any issue that you will have or might have actually so for the ones that uses my app for the ps3 the advantage tools click on here go to mount menus and if you have europe disc go in there if you have usa disc go in there if you have europe select the game you want to black ops and then your bless code and download the modded binds patch. Okay, uh, for OFW or if you have OFW, make sure you have a modded backup installed. If you are on hybrid firmware, meaning HFW, go in your hand toolbox and select debug package enabler. And then you, or use um, hand enabler should work as well. Okay, so with that done, um, go to Wait, let me load the game as well, though. Let me load the game. Okay, go to your save data utility. Go to your USB. And you will see your Black Ops save game. Copy that over your from your USB over to your console. Boom, done. And make sure that the USB is still in there. It needs it all the time. Um, so now the game is launched and stuff. Let me delete everything. You don't have to do this. This is just for me because I have more custom firmware. I have to be saved like a condom. Um, you can sign in. No problem. Let's sign in. 
there we go so as you can see i'm signed in that's me go and add me maybe oh we already have some request okay you press start it says reading hd there we go welcome to revive version one this is version two but okay revive version one it says here for me uh, by Python modding credits, create only recorded shotguns for you. Text assuming a gate. Go in game and press D pad up with closed scoreboard to open the menu. Nice. Okay. So we all understand that one, right? And then go into um, options. Let me see. Aim assist disable. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So we go to zombies. We all know that will work in here. I did do preview or review. We're gonna find zombies. So if you have your uh, any map here that are grayed out, that means, well, it usually means that you have to, you don't have a bypass. So make sure you get that bypass, uh, bypass patch thingy. Uh, you can contact anyone in our uh, uh, server on our Discord server, and they will hook you up. So what should we do? What game does people? Uh, I'm just gonna do King of the Tone because I think a lot of people play that map, so it's easier and faster to find a fucking lobby. I don't know if you can hear that guy because I see a headset icon. I can't hear him. This is my editing headset, not my recording headset. Don't hear anything in game with this headset on. Waiting for other players. Oh, something. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. And. No power, no glory. Huh. Wait a second. Like I don't think that pipe mudding has something. No, I see those modifications, right? I see that. That's not the problem. However, I can't do anything. That usually means that, or I did something wrong. Maybe I had to log in before, I mean, sign out before I launched the game, but we'll see. So if I go back to solo and hit Kino. No, okay, I, I did something wrong. I launched the game before I was signed in. So anyways, that's how you install the mount menu. I'm not going to go back at it and show you everything. But here's a little fix. If you can shoot and do anything, you go to bound layout. Okay. And oh wait, it's I think it's because I changed the name of the button layout. Okay, yeah, don't do that. Anyways, you want to go left or right. It doesn't really matter. For me, it says now tactical, and I switch back, it says the vault. There you go, and now you should be able to do pretty much everything. You can see, I can now do everything. Uh, I want to thank you for watching this video. It's a quick little, uh, well, hopefully it's a quick, but it's a quick little tutorial video on how to install and use Red Eye Save Game Editing, or Save Game Editor for the PS3. Uh, well, more specifically, it's for Black Ops 1, Zombies, and Multiplayer. But that's it that's how you install this again if you want to watch the review that will be available at the end of the video you will see two videos one of those videos will be the option to watch the review another one i don't know we'll see uh if you have something that you want me to do a review or give you a feedback of please let me know all of the social media accounts or any way that you want to contact me you can easily contact me by a comment or Anything in the, in the description box below. Everything's linked in the fucking description box below. Same for our Discord server. Go ahead and join our Discord server. Definitely, definitely recommend that for you. But if you're new and you didn't already, go ahead and subscribe. Because I do upload different kinds of videos. Not every day, but I do my very best. I'm a busy guy. I got married and stuff. You know. You, get the, you, you know what I mean. So, headache, you know. Wives. Don't start with it. Uh, JK. If you, if you face any errors... Uh, and you don't know what's going on feel free to comment down below and I will try my best to help you out but to get a faster respond and a way better fix because you know Discord server there are a lot of moderators admin and just the whole community that can back you up and help you out instead of just me 
join our Discord server. Again, links in the description box below. Join our Discord server and, you know, let people know that you face a problem and maybe mention an admin or moderator or anyone. And we can assure you that we will try our best to help you out. So anyway, that's it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. And thank you, Python Modding, for creating this awesome mod menu. Oh, by the way, if you want to do a request, feel free to let me know in the Discord server as well. And comment down below. Bye-bye. I love y'all. I love y'all.